Um, my name is Ian Morris, I'm 32 years old, I live in Hastings, England. My sponsors are Federal, Nixon, Etnies, Primo and 70s. Where do you work and what is your job on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, work at 70s Distribution, we import bikes from America, we have our own brand called Federal. I try and get to work between 7 and 7.30 because I think those few hours in the morning where the phone doesn't go and no one's around, I get a lot done. I'm really, really awake and I get most of my work done in those two hours. About six o'clock, we start riding around. I think that starting a bike company would be so difficult. I didn't think it would be this hard, but I, I did have a head start because we'd been already doing backyard and 70s over the years, so I knew a bit about the industry, but it's still very, very hard, especially to keep to stay there because you have to keep on reinventing yourself. How tall are you? Five foot four. <laughs> Have you ever gone to an amusement park and not been able to get on a ride? <laughs> no. You think your height is a disadvantage or an advantage to your riding? Advantage. Oh yeah, explain. I can yeah, I get off the bike and roll around and I got hurt. <laughs> It seemed like uh, you were pushing street riding further than anybody way back in the day and you took it in the direction nobody else was going at the time. Did you have any inspirations back then or, or what caused you to see things the way you did? Basically just look at skateboarding and see what they, those guys are doing. That's what I wanted to do. Just I wanted to do stuff that they were doing. <laughs> and I think there's a lot more doors to be open to as well. I think people can push it a lot, a lot further, you know. What pushed you to get into riding rails so heavily? I don't think anything pushed me, I just, I did my first one and then I just wanted to do more and more. If I saw a rail and looked at it, if it looked like I could do it, I just wanted to do it. I really didn't want to just go out and do any, any, any rail, but I, I just really got into it. Have you ever been drunk before? Too many times. So Mr. Morris, uh, what do you think about us having a party in your apartment? Um, well, I'm down, man. The shit's going off. What's the most ridiculous thing you've ever done? Oh, when I'm drunk, I don't remember anything. <laughs> your work involves a lot of travel. Where would you like to go to that you haven't already visited? Probably like to go to South America the most. That's one place I haven't been I'd like to go to. Everywhere else I've been to, I've been to Japan, Australia. Those are the places I really wanted to go the most. Do you ever think that it's weird how bizarre your life's worked out and the fact that you're the most well-known BMXer from the country that you're from? Oh, I can't believe it. It's insane, really. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, never really had a plan of really what I'm to do. It's just how I just basically gone day to day, drove my bike and then started working. And there's no really huge, big five-year plan with 70s or federal or backyard or anything. We just plan the year ahead as best as we can. And then hopefully I'd just love to be doing what we're doing now, still, hopefully still riding my bike, working on the companies and progressing and focusing on the companies for the, for the future. I'd like to thank Stuart Dawkins. Without him, nothing would be possible.
Stephanie, my girlfriend, for putting up with me being away all the time. Will Smith, Ed Doherty, Nick and Andy at Lord. All the guys at 70s, Baz, Boyley, Dan, Matt, Ed, Anthony, Chris, Louis and Nick. Nate and Don Brown at Etnies. Greg at Primo and Chad at Nixon. And all of our team riders, they rule. Thank you.